Good morning. Well, those pesky clouds are finally moving out of the area. Yesterday, they kind of stopped right at the Ohio border. Indiana had reports of sunshine, but those clouds just did not want to leave us, and that did keep temperatures a little bit on the cooler side for yesterday. Say we, we saw those clouds and showers clearing out last night, and it was a perfect setup for the lunar eclipse this morning. We had some I should say we had a lot of pictures come in from viewers. This one is from Russell Reynolds. This is when it was still in its partial eclipse stage. This did start at about 5.15 this morning, and we did hit total eclipse stage at about 6.25. And here's another picture from Gary. They have been calling this the blood moon eclipse. You can see there it's got a little bit of a reddish tint to it. Good morning. We have definitely cooled things down this morning thanks to that cold front that moved through. We were sitting in the upper 60s. Even some areas were in the lower 70s yesterday this morning. We're sitting in the 50s, so it's definitely jagged weather if you are headed out and about. Kids headed out to the bus stop, definitely make sure that they've got the jackets this morning. We're currently Again, that is thanks to that cold front that's now sitting off to our east, but we still have that area of low pressure sitting just to our west, and that is going to keep a chance for some scattered showers in the forecast. So we'll take a look at when we can expect those to move in coming up. Everyone is looking at the forecast for tonight because kids are going out trick-or-treating. So how do you dress? What do you do for tonight? Well, the kids are definitely going to want to bundle up. Temperatures today are only going to be into the low 50s. So we'll probably start out your trick-or-treating about that temperature. But again, temperatures will be falling throughout the day. So for the trick-or-treaters out there, again, you definitely want to bundle up because we are going to continue to see this cool down. And we'll also see those clouds continue to increase as well as those temperatures cooling throughout the night. So for about 5 o'clock, you will see those mostly cloudy skies with temperatures about 50 degrees. By 630, temperatures will be about 46 degrees. And again, we'll continue to deal with some clouds throughout the evening, but it will be chilly by the end of the evening. Temperatures will be in the lower 40s, maybe even some upper 30s. So you definitely want to bundle up. And it looks like we will be continuing this cool, cool trend into tomorrow with a chance for some scattered showers. So we'll talk more about that coming up. Today, plenty of sunshine. We had a few more clouds earlier this morning. We've got some thin clouds out there right now, but that sunshine is definitely helping to warm up temperatures. It's been a bit on the windier side though, and we've got some winds out of the south, so that with the sunshine is helping to warm things up. You can see on satellite and radar, just a few thin clouds out there. We had an area of low pressure move through yesterday. That is now to our north and east, but it did bring us those scattered showers yesterday. Here at the station, we saw about three tenths of an inch, a little bit less at the airport. We saw about 17 hundredths of an inch. So different areas saw different amounts of rain showers yesterday, but good news, those showers are now off to our north and east. We're just dealing with some clouds this morning as well as some slightly cooler temperatures. We are still seeing those winds out of the northwest. That will be the trend throughout the day. So that will continue to keep temperatures a little bit on the cooler side. Good morning. It's a chillier morning out there. So for the kids headed out to the bus stop, you do want to make sure that they are bundled up. You you might even want to make sure that they've got the gloves on this morning, but at least it will be on the dry side. Rain showers have moved well off to our north and east, so we will see a little bit of sun today, but mixed in with some clouds. Yes, we talked over the last couple of weeks, so the temperature's been up and down, and it's going to be doing that again. Say, but we're going up today. That's good. That's, the, good. that's the good news. We've had some sunshine throughout the morning, a few clouds, but those have cleared. Now we're seeing some thin clouds, but overall, plenty of sunshine and that's helping to warm up temperatures. We've actually, I think, been on the luckier side. We've seen just a little over four inches, but it's a totally different story up there. They've been getting just round after round of lake effect snow and unfortunately it's not done yet. So for us, we've been pretty much on the clear side just dealing with some flurries over the last few days, but take a look at Buffalo. This is only a 24 hour loop. They've been dealing with snow showers for the last several days and in some areas they've seen over 60 inches of snow already and I just want to put into perspective over the entire season last year for here in Lima we saw 56 inches and in just a couple of days they've seen more than that but we are all in store for a warm-up as we head into the weekend so we'll talk more about that coming up. All right, well, forecasters are expecting today to add another one to three feet well, of snow. Well, the main that's story today will be those winds. You've probably heard the winds howling throughout the overnight. It's been quite windy out there. And uh, here's a look at some of those wind gusts. Throughout the overnight, we have been seeing some wind gusts over 25 miles per hour, even some between 40 to 45 miles per hour. So it's been quite windy out there. Those are the wind gusts. We've been seeing some sustained winds from about 25 to 30 miles per hour, and that will be the case throughout the day. Now, we are going to be seeing some wind advisories and some high wind warnings go into effect a little bit later this morning. The wind advisory will go into effect about 7 a.m. this morning for the majority of our region, the majority of our viewing area, I should say, but the high wind warning will be in effect for Hancock and Wyandotte County at 10 a.m. this morning. Yesterday, beautiful day out there. We saw temperatures at 64 degrees. Can you believe it? It was the end of November and we got into the 60s, but today, things, they are going to be changing. We are going to start to cool things down. We're already starting to cool things down. We've been seeing temperatures dropping thanks to a cold front that's moved through. So today, it's going to be a little bit of a different story.